It is a morning filled with boxing. I'm Erin Colted, live at the Westbury Boxing Club, talking about the fight for charity. The Long Islanders, who never knew how to box, now stepping in the ring to raise money for fellow Long Islanders. That story coming up. Okay, this one is a, a fight, but a special one. One for families in need. Yeah, it's a major fundraiser with a lot of training. News 12's Erin Colton with a preview of the Long Island Fight for Charity, live from Westbury. Erin. We're inside the Westbury Boxing Club where, yeah, it's 5.30 in the morning, a little later, but uh, it is pumped up in here. We have these Long Islanders going at it, starting their training in May, you may sometimes even earlier than that, and now the culmination is on Monday night. They get into the ring, and that's when they fight another uh, average, everyday Long Islander who's been training all to raise money for charity. Joining me now is Ed Parry, a retired school teacher. Um, not retired, though, because you run the summer programs for Lou High. Yes. Um, and, and what was it in you that you wanted to do this this year? Uh, I think it's just a matter of what the next thing in my life was. I turned 60 in January. Always been uh, active athletically. Yeah. Never tried boxing before, so uh, it was the next thing on the agenda. So you start training. When did you start training? Second week in June. Okay. Wow. Okay. So second week in June, and now Monday night is fight night. Do you, is you is the guy that you're fighting here this morning? He's not here this morning. Is he going to be here later? I don't know. I'm not sure if he's going to be here or not. All right, good, because I like rooting for one person. <laughs> so I'm, I'm rooting for you, Ed. You got it. Don't okay. tell him I said that if he comes later. Okay. So and what is the charity that you're fighting for? Well, it's a Long Island Community Chest is the overall charity. Right. And also one of the deals was if I raised ten thousand dollars, I could then pick a charity of my choice and split the money over ten thousand. Did you do that? I, I am. I'm in the process. The cure starts now. Um, at Luhai, we had a uh, staff member, two staff members actually, lose their five-year-old daughter to mm. DIPG uh, brain cancer. So uh, that's a charity of my choice over the ten thousand. Amazing. It's Monday night. You can also give by you know not being in the ring, but just going. Tickets are online. Just go to news12.com, click on numbers and links if you would like to go. And again, all of this goes to Long Island Charities, and that's the best part about it. It's the money staying stays, on Long stays Island. Stays on Long Island that need it. Yep. All right, I'm rooting for you. Thank you. Unless your opponent comes, and then I'll be rooting <laughs> then for both of tell you. Them. <laughs> Thank you very much. Got to say, I'm biased as a reporter. Ed. <laughs> All right, so we're inside the Westbury Boxing Club, and we will be for the entire morning meeting all of these awesome Long Islanders. Go again, home. go to news12.com for information. <laughs> we're live in Westbury. Aaron Colton, News 12 Long Island. All right, thanks, Aaron. It looks so easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to knock you out. Right? <laughs>